little bit about um, dividing up your broom corn for this. So this is a plated rooster tail or plated turkey wing. We're going to call it a plated turkey wing. How's that? Um, basically all it is is a turkey wing that you add on to, but it's plated down here. Actually, it's plated all the way up. So um, that's what makes it different. And it's, it's made a little different. So we're gonna work on that today, but one of the things I wanna to talk to you about when you start out with this is, to me, that was a little light. I wanted something thicker. So once again, you know, whatever is in your hand is how that thick that's gonna be. Yeah, it's gonna shrink up a little bit, but it needs to feel good in your hand, okay, for the amount of broom corn that you wanna use. So I'm going to show you what I do to separate this out. We want at least 12 sections, and if you want more than that, that works too. So this little dark my light or balance went out on my light, so bear, bear with me here. So what I do, I'm okay with that. You can see that this is wet and it's bleeding a little bit. What I want to do is I want to have... I like to like take this in half. Um, and one thing I will tell you is this has to be, has to be wet or it will not bend over and plate. Okay. So then I'm going to take this and half it. And then I'm going to take this and half it. This is just a real easy way for me to eyeball things and say, oh, that's about good. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these four and I'm gonna have them all again. And I'm gonna start stacking them. Okay, so then I'm gonna take these in half. So that will give me, that's four, that'll give me eight. So actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these and make them into thirds, okay? And then I'm gonna stack these. And that should give me 12. So like I say, you can do more of these if you want. It's totally up to you. And you can see I'm just eyeballing these. It's not a measured thing that would take you forever. All right. And as I said, I did soak this broom corn. It has to be wet in warm water for about, I don't know, five, 10 minutes or it's not gonna work. That's a little thick. I think we'll split that again. This is a little thick too, so good. Just gives me some more options. Okay, so I think I have like 14, 16. Okay, 12 is good. A little bit more is better, okay? So let's start it up. I'm making sure that my string is coming off the top of the spindle and I'm gonna tie it like I normally do. Overhand knot. And then I want this to spin, or I'm sorry, I want it to slide on the long string, not the short one. So I come around. Where it intersects, I hold it. I turn that loop upside down, and I come through the hoop with my other hand. I go that, and I pull it through. Now, I don't want that long tail on the short one. So I'm going to thread that through a little bit before I tighten it up. Okay. So, so what we're going to do, let's take that loop, put it around our first section of broom corn. And you want to get this down pretty dang close to the brushy part here. Okay. And I'm going to go around this twice before I cinch it up. So I'm going to be going, so I'm going to just do a couple wraps here to make sure that's secure. Okay, oops. And then what I want to do is I want to take this and pin it over. Let me do that one more wrap. Okay, about three, and then bend it over. This is one of those reasons why this has to be wet. So you're bending it over like in a U shape, and then you're gonna wrap here for about three. 
And what this does is this gives you your, we're going to call that a toe because I don't know what you call it, but that's what we're creating at this particular juncture. So three. And then what we're going to do is we're going to open this up. From our brush to our handle of that. So we want the brushy pieces to the left and the stock pieces to the right. And I'm going to come in between here. Okay, so when you're first starting this out, it's a little clumsy. So what we're going to do is we're going to take Oh, let's say eight pieces on each side of this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight here. And we're going to put that underneath that. Let me get this close so you can see it. I'm just going to back up so you can see it. Um, underneath that string. And then you're going to come over on the other side and you're going to get about eight pieces. We're going to fold that back. Get another eight pieces. This still goes underneath that wire, that wire, nylon twine, and it comes on the other side. So then you've got like this V thing going here. V thing in the back. One bunch, two bunches. Okay? So then what we want to do is grab another bunch. And we are going to set that in here. on top of this. Okay, and we're going to go, oh, I'm sorry. We're going to go underneath the twine, leveling that up, and put it on top of this guy. Okay, so as you come around then, one time, and then these guys go on top of and back into, no, they go here, sorry. When you come around for that second time, they go underneath. So then you've got like two wraps on this, right? There's the first one, where you added it, and then the second wrap is where you bring those two Vs down to join it again. So this is just a repeat, so we're gonna come back in here and we're going to get about eight. And we're going to take those under that nylon twine and they're going to the bottom here. Okay. Put that under the twine. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to do the same thing. Okay. Goes under the twine, but this time this group goes on the other side. So you've got this V thing going, right? That's part of the other one. Go back down here. Okay, so we've got that V thing going, right? And so once we've got our V set up, it is time to add another piece of room corn. Room corn goes underneath the wire. It's going to go right on top of that. And you're going to cinch that one down. you still got these guys. Okay, when it comes around for the second time, that's when you put those V's back in there. Okay? So you should have two wraps on there. If you look close, there's two wraps. One to add the addition, the second one is to put the V in. Okay? So, let's do it again. So we're going to go in here and we're going to grab like eight from the center. It's going to go underneath the nylon. And it's going to go on the bottom. And then we're going to go in here and grab another bunch underneath and it goes to the top. So here's the V. All right, here's the V, and that is right underneath that, okay? So then we're going to add 
another one goes underneath the string okay and then we're going to cinch that down one time around and then on the second those V's come down and flat okay and you can see how we're starting to get that braid and you can also see that there is two wraps there one to add the second one to uh, put down your plate or your V okay so here we go again the more you do this the easier it gets okay so we're gonna add on top and we're going to do a cinch. Sorry, I didn't do my, <laughs> my V's before I did that. Okay, so we got two on there from the inside. Not the ones that you had already used, but from the inside here. You're going to take one bunch, six to eight. You're going to bring that down on the bottom. Same thing in the center. Don't take the ones that you used from last time. Come down and get some new ones. Okay. And I like mine a little bit more on the heftier side. I think it looks better. Okay, so I got one on the left side, and one on the right, or one on the top and the bottom, however you want to call it. There's my V. Okay. I've got that right underneath there. And then I'm going to put my new piece of broom corn. Okay, so I'm going to cinch that down, and as I come back around, the V comes in here, push that down so it's nice and flat, and that happens, that flat happens because it's wet. If it's not wet, it's not going to work. It's not going to bend down there nice. They go on the sides, not the center. Okay, and then we've got two wraps again, right? So if we got two wraps, we know it's time to add another one. So here we go. So the first thing we're going to do is grab those V's from the center. And there's one group of V. goes to the bottom underneath. Here's a second group of V. It goes underneath and to the top. All right, so there's my V's. I'm going to hold them down here. I've got it right underneath that V, that 20, and I'm going to put my other piece on, making sure that I keep it level, and then I'm going to cinch that. And as I come back around, one part of the V goes down, and the other part of the V goes down. Okay, and we do it again. So, I'm going to take from the center, underneath to the bottom, underneath to the top, there's my V, if I can get a hold of it, okay. underneath. Alright, so, and you can see that it's right underneath that. Okay? So if I've got my V ready, then it's time to add another piece of broom corn. Underneath, right on top of that V, and I cinch it up, and then I put that top part of the V down, Make sure it's nice and flat. And the other part of the V down that I've lost. Okay, the other part of the V down. 
keep them to the sides. They don't need to be in the center. You see, I got my double thing going there. Everything's nice and flat. And I go around again. All right, so you kind of got the whole idea here. I'm going to finish this up, and then we'll talk about the top. Okay, so I've got all my layers in. See how this is all plated up? Now, if you want this out more, you can always bend it. So, but I've got all my layers in, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap for three. Just to tighten this up, and then I'll do an advance and go up again. So, um, and then this is your call, which side is the front and which side is the back. I'm going to say that's the front, so I'm going to come back here and do an advance up, holding that string. And then I'll do a couple wraps here. All I'm doing is tightening up this handle. So now, if you wanted to, you could come back down and plate that uh, with some uh, reed or uh, <clears throat> broom corn stalks, either one, and come back down and cover that up. Today we're not going to do that, but I may do that in the future. So I'm going to do three here, and then I'm going to make sure that I'm advancing on the same side. Come up. And then I'm going to wrap for three here. And one more. And then come up one more. Uh, and I think I'll do one more. This kind of tightens up your handle. And like I say, it's fine the way it is. Or you can put some plating on top of it. So this is going to be my last one, so I'm going to put my jerk string in. I'm going to wrap three times. Maybe four. And I'm going to hold that tension tight, come down here and cut that. And then that cut tail is going to go through this loop. Come back over here where the knot is and jerk it through. So I'm going to tighten this up. Knot on the blade. And cut away from myself. Okay, so that is the plated turkey wing. <laughs> it is stout. So, um, bring this out more. Of course, you can always cut these back, but that, in essence, is that broom. And the way that it happens is by doing those plated V's. I can see I missed a couple here. Um, and bringing them down. Okay. So probably what I'll do since I missed those is cut those off. But anyways, so you can see what's happening here now. I want to turn this off. I'm going to try using this cool PVC cutter once again. I want to make sure of where the blade's at. Where are the blade's at in comparison to my uh, twine? Because I don't want to cut the twine. So I guess the best way to do that is look at it here. It is, does ratchet up. So you got to kind of ratchet it and watch it before it starts actually cutting to get it where you want it. Get that out of the way. Okay. See, it makes pretty fast work of that. So I'll just trim these up. And I could come back in here and trim that up a little bit too, but that makes a pretty nice flush cut. So, there you go. It's the plated turkey wing. Here's the original. This one is a little thicker. I like that better. So, like I say, when you make it, make sure that it feels good in your hand as far as the uh, diameter goes. This was a little, little loose, I thought, or just, this one feels better in my hand. How's that? 
So, and as if this is wet, you can still move it around a little bit and give it more of a flare if you want. Okay. So, there you go. Until next time.